Okay, so we're just going to move on for the template and tutorials for a little bit, um, and just do do some uh, of the just an introduction on how to Roku works, just to kind of break it up a little bit. Um, so we've got our theme here, Sudo Su TV, um, and we've set up a Roku channel for this, um, and it's all working very nicely with both thumbnails, etc., using the desktop app. But we're just going to this is just an intro, just to talk you through what we've done. Okay, so under apps and feeds, you can download the example assets here. So this will give you all the images sizes that you need just to run some tests obviously you open these up in Photoshop and change them to whatever you want and if you open up the Roku developer portal I'm gonna sign in here okay so I've signed into my channel and I've gone to my channels and gone to my Sudo Su TV channel okay so you can see we've got everything set up here because um, everything's listed correctly but what we can do is we can go through each one okay so under properties uh, we simply added in the channel store. My channel is not directed at children, all ages, and it's got a vanity code. Um, feed URL. Um, this is the URL to your Roku feed. Okay. Now you can restrict this, but we don't really want to. Um, so you can just open the Roku MRS feed here and just copy this URL, and it's got all the content in it for you. Okay. So that's what you put in the feed URL. Um, and then feed status will go through in a bit a minute. But branding. This is what we've done with the Roku assets. We've just given you sample branding images so you don't have to create them yourself. You can simply just go ahead and paste all those in. Layout gives you some different layouts you can change. Categories. Now here's where you can add different categories. So in this one we've got um, categories are based on tags. Um, so let me just show you what that means. So if we go under channel, you can see that this is in a AWS um, category. okay, And this one's in a WordPress category. So under Roku, if we take a look at this, edit, you'll see it's based on tags and we've added a tag here. So if we wanted to add a new category of say um, uh, light sale, like there's a light sale category here, then what you can do under Roku, you go to add a category uh, based on tags, and we'll call it light sale. Okay, and then it will show you the tags that you have in your theme already set up. So we've selected light sale, um, and then what we can do is we can just click overlay the tiles on the thumbnail and click save okay so that's added our new category for us and we can click save so any any um, any videos that we add with the tag of light sale will show under that within the pocket channel okay so channel store information standard monetize if you want to monetize um, with advertisements then you can contact Roku and set up an advertising channel support and preview and publish but the main thing we're going to talk about in this tutorial is the um, feed status okay so this is where it ingests your items. So we generate everything for you, so you can see everything set up here, and we generate it as you're creating your channel. If you click refresh now, okay, what it does is it then ingests this into Roku to, to be displayed as your Roku channel, okay? Um, it takes some time to kind of refresh, but what I'll do is I'll break um, some things. Uh, well, actually, let's just add some new content. So what I'll do is I'll go to add new content, Okay, and what we'll do is I'm gonna okay, and what I'll do is I'll open up S3 Bubble, go to videos, and we've got some free video examples, and we'll just do the Bugs Bunny one, big Buck Bunny, sorry, um, copy, and then we'll go ahead and we'll put uh, big bunny, okay, and this will be for Roku tests, okay, and this is just testing, remember. If you want the Biff thumbnail, it's extra. Use the desktop app. Do that in other tutorials. So let's just paste in our URL. Okay. Now I'm going to leave some things. Okay. Blank. Um, we will put it in a category for our website. So we'll put it in um, WordPress, and we'll also add a tag of um, WordPress. Okay. So it's in the category tag WordPress. Now if we click publish, go back over to our Roku feed. Okay. You can see our big bunny has now been generated within our Roku feed okay but what will happen is if we now refresh um, let's just run a refresh on this now you do have to keep refreshing but you can see 7 on ingested successfully sorry um, and we'll just refresh so now we have to wait a few minutes and come back so what we'll do is we'll wait a few minutes and we'll expect one item to fail okay so I'm just gonna pause the video while we wait for this to go through 
Phew, okay, great. It's finally gone through. Now, th that took ages. It took elite about 15 minutes. Um, so, it's not us. It's uh, Rocky. If, you, if it takes a while to go through, you just have to kind of bear with it. But it's done exactly what we expected to do. It says one item's got an error. The duration is invalid or missing. It must be greater than zero. So, let's go back to our feed. Okay, um, here. And you can see our duration is zero here. So, let's go ahead and um, go back to our content. Now, let's open up the video. Okay, and let's just see how long the video is. So you can see the long the video is nine minutes and fifty six seconds. Okay, so we need to work that out. So it needs to all be in seconds. So we can open this up, and let's just say it's nine minutes. So that's five hundred and forty seconds for nine, and we need to add fifty six. So that's five hundred and ninety five uh, ninety six seconds. Okay, uh, is the seconds in this video? So five nine six. Okay, so five nine six is the duration. And then what we want to do as well is let's go ahead and add our Roku image. Okay, so under here, Roku MRS thumbnail here. Click the image, and this will be the image that will show within your site. So we can choose any of these images. Um, set it. It's got to be at least 16. It's got to be at least 800 by 450. So click update. Okay, and then go back to our feed, and then just run a refresh. Okay, you'll see now we've got a duration. Um, we could add captions to this if we wanted so um, to add captions you simply go ahead and go under captions here and just add a caption choose a file upload it choose the language thing and then it will show oh, so I'll do that quickly I'll add a caption okay so I've added a caption file it's got to be in VTT format okay um, we need to be doing English and then the label will give it as English okay so we're adding a caption file and click update okay and just to be aware that if you do add captions there then the captions will also show within your captions under the file here okay so it will show here but let's just run a refresh here okay and you can see we've got our caption file um, and that's set up here so now we've got captions we've got a duration we've got our image and we've got everything set up so what we can do is we can do another refresh okay and then refresh and then what I'll need to do is pause the video again and um, then we'll come back and hopefully we've got eight items ingested successfully oh it did say um, there's a genre missing here so let's just go ahead and um, go back and just make sure it's under one of the Roku genres um, so Roku genres uh, let's just put it under technology okay and update okay let's just take a look at the feed see if we've got genres okay so we've got a technology genre here okay so I'm gonna have to refresh the feed again that's fine you will be doing this a few times checking errors but as soon as you've got it done you just follow a process and it will just ingest your items um, for you okay so I'm going to pause this where this updates okay finally that actually went through after it took another 15 minutes something like that but we've got our eight items ingested um, successfully so we resolved these two errors and now our Roku feed is working so we're going to move on from Roku and we're going to go um, we're going to get more advanced with Roku at later stages and we're going to talk about how you can um, use the desktop app with captions, biff thumbnails and app, app, it all just uploaded directly and how it all kind of works and ties in together um, with your actual service.